You got an awesome looking car, but does your front bumper or back bumper look like this? Well, I can show you how to fix this for less than 40 bucks. The reason why your car looks like this is because just like me, your deductible is $500 if not more. And your gut is telling you to fix this is probably less than $200, $100. And you know what? You're right. And that's how car insurance companies or auto insurance companies make their money. Let me show you how to fix this for less than 40 bucks. One of the things that makes this a good repair or a bad repair is where you get the paint. If you go to an auto parts store, you're gonna get something off the shelf that matches the color of your car. If you're doing little touch-ups and nicks, this'll work. But for something like this, you need an exact color. This is where you wanna go instead to an auto paint store, a store that sells paint strictly for automobiles. So instead of forking out money to your insurance company, let's get started so I can show you how to keep that money in your pocket. Okay, the first thing you're gonna do is look for the body color or code number. And usually it's on the door jam somewhere. Yeah, you'll see it right here. Sometimes it's in your trunk and sometimes it's in your glove box. If you don't know where to find it, just go to your parts store. They'll show you where it's at. Once you figure out the color, you can get a touch-up marker at your parts store. But if you're like me and you go to the parts store and they don't have your color, what do you do? Well, the next option you have is to go to a paint auto body store or a store that sells only auto body colors and other auto body repair supplies. Since they don't have my color in a touch-up marker or in an aerosol can, I went to a paint store. They got the color code off the car and mixed the color right in front of me. The computer will tell them which colors to use and exactly how many ounces it take for each color. A small bottle of touch-up runs about nine bucks and an aerosol can will run anywhere from 20 to 25 bucks depending on which colors they use. Some colors are expensive. I asked for a small bottle of touch-up and some color in an aerosol can. It took them about 15 or 20 minutes to do this. You want to bring your car or the part you want to paint so they can closely match the color. This is how they do it. This is what he does to get a perfect match. He'll tweak the color if he has to. All right, now that you got your color, now it's time to get to work. I'm taking some lacquer thinner. I'm going to wipe down all the areas to remove all the grease and grime and dirt. Okay, we're getting to the fun part now. We're going to sand only the area where the paint is missing or chipped off. When you sand, you're going to sand the paint edge so it's all flat. You'll want to use a foam sandpaper. I got this at the auto paint store. It ran about a buck. It's an 80 grit. You'll want to use this foam sandpaper because it conforms to your bumper's curves. Use your hand or fingers, you'll feel that it's all blended in. This is the only sanding you'll be doing. It's that simple. Once that you feel that you set it enough, wipe it down with some lacquer thinner. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to put some masking tape on the headlight so we don't spray accidentally on the headlight. Okay, now we're ready to use our custom spray color. 
Make sure you shake the can really good so when you spray the color it sprays nice and even. Spray one light coat. The key in laying a good coat so it looks really good and professional is to keep your wrist or your hand moving left to right constantly every time you spray. Never stop. Otherwise you'll have a spot. If that happens, just take some lacquer thinner and wipe everything away and start all over. In about 15-20 minutes, come back and spray a second coat. And if need be, go ahead and spray a third coat. Well, I'm really impressed with the color match. It was worth the 25 bucks. This is the second coat, and I can see some areas that I still need to touch up. Well, it looks like I'm all done. What do you think? I think it looks great. And this only cost me, gosh, I think I only spent less than 40 bucks and spent not even two hours on it. This is real easy to do. Plus I saved a lot of money and you can too. If I can do it, you can do it. Not too bad, huh? Don't let the insurance companies take your money. Do it yourself and put the money in your pocket. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it was very informative. Please check out my other how-to videos. Oh, and check out my new website. There's new items being put in there every day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, hit the bell. Until then, we'll see you at my next video. Bye.